Pet Remedy is incredibly effective at improving a dog's emotional well-being. But why is that? The secret is a dog's sense of smell. In fact, in the work that I do as a trainer and behaviorist, there is nothing more ethical, effective, or efficient than modifying a dog's behavior than nose work and getting the dog using their nose. So why are our dog's noses so important? To put it into perspective, our dog's sense of smell is so powerful that if we had the equivalent power in our eyesight, we would be able to see a stop sign clearly on the moon. We also need to keep in mind that our dog's noses are so sophisticated that they're able to pick out every single ingredient in a sandwich just through their sense of smell on a molecular level. Today we're going to be talking about how we can use nose work, getting your dog to use their nose, to improve their emotional well-being. That can be as simple as teaching them to find scattered food in long grass, to as complex as teaching them to search a plane. Me and my students did that, and your dog damn well can do it too. Here's an easy tip that you can implement immediately without any prior training. Let your dog sniff more. It sounds really silly, but we need to remember that when we're thinking about dogs with anxiety, the anxiety comes from their inability to process the world. That's how our dogs do it. Their main sense is their nose. So by taking the time to slow down and allow them to sniff the grass or spend a little bit more time in the vet's car park before you head in, that'll give them time to regulate their emotions, process the world around them and overall build their confidence. However, we may need to take a more active approach to help them along. I like to use a cue called scatter, which simply means to your dog, a bunch of food is gonna be scattered on the floor for you to snuffle through. We need to remember that sniffing lowers our dog's heart rate and allows them to reduce their own stress levels. So by implementing that into our day-to-day -day walks, our dog is gonna to learn to regulate themselves a lot easier. You can also use this for times when your dog is getting fizzy and really, really excited, or utilize it when they encounter one of their stressful things, maybe that's dogs, maybe that's people, as a way to start changing the association with that thing. Speaking of changing associations, did you know there is a way that if your dog is a bit unsure about new people, that you can create a strong positive association without them seeing them? All you need is an item of clothing that smells like that person. You simply pop that in a room and you do something really fun with your dog. It might be some of the nose work games we've been talking about. It might be playing a game of tug. It might be doing some general training. It might be having a cuddle on the sofa. We need to remember that our dog's noses are so cool because they will store scents almost like memory and the receptors will pick up associations with certain scents. So if your dog learns that it, when they smell new people or strange people, people before they come into the house or before your dog meets them and they have a positive association beforehand by doing fun little exercises you're going to start off that relationship really really strongly and look we shouldn't forget that our dog's noses are so amazing that they can do a whole variety of jobs take assistance dogs for example some dogs are trained to detect their handler's blood sugar levels dropping or to let their handler know when an epileptic fit is about to take place dogs are used across the world for a whole variety of different dog related jobs for example conservation dogs finding endangered species. We have drug detection dogs scouring airports and cargo. We have tracking dogs to find stolen property. And we have man trailing or search and rescue dogs to find missing people. And some of those skills and techniques your dog can actually learn. That's what I do with my students. We do a combination of scent work, which is like drug detection work, tracking, which is following human scent to find a human scent article, like a glove or sock, and man trailing, which is on lead search and rescue to help and benefit a dog's emotional well-being. We have to remember that all of our dogs have an ancient lineage inside them, a desire to hunt, a desire to work, but we also need to remember on the flip side that our dogs use their noses to process the world around them. So many of my students have benefited, in fact all have benefited from implementing nose work. It is fantastic for improving a dog's confidence around other dogs. It is incredible for lowering a dog's arousal around people and changing those associations. And it is fantastic for building a positive association with somewhere that your dog finds spooky, like the vets or cars. So my final tip for you is to go out and find yourself a nose work trainer. Someone that is really going to work with your dog to make them feel safe, secure and content and get them using their nose. Happy sniffing!